Well, it finally happened. Your old hard drive died, and the key is lost along with it for Windows. You put a new hard drive in and installed Windows, but the key you don't have anymore. What do you do? You can transfer it. Let me show you. Welcome to the video guys and this is something that I haven't actually run into myself because I always use OEM or pre-built laptops or computers myself so I've never actually had to buy Windows or a key and I ended up with this gaming PC that there will be a video about hopefully that has a key on it it's a Windows 7 key and back years ago, I was able to use the Windows 7 key for Windows 10. Apparently, that's not a thing anymore. So I typed in the key. I put in change product key. I typed it in. It says, you can't use this key for Windows 10. So I said, that's fine. Uh, I kind of left it alone. And then uh, again, I was like, wait, why... I have a valid key. I should be able to use it. At one point in time, you could upgrade from 7 to 10. No problem, and the key would transfer. So I decided to go ahead and contact the support. For some reason, I couldn't do the chat, so I did the phone call thing. So you put in your phone number, and then they call you. And then I talked to the lady, and I explained what happened. This is actually a key that is for the computer that the hard drive died in. So this isn't some scam where I'm trying to use a different key on a different computer or something like that. And so we went through a couple of things. I was asking about how to upgrade and stuff like that. So she said to go to the activation page, go to troubleshoot, then it says this key cannot be used. And then it, you go to, I recently changed hardware on this device. Which is true. This is completely true. So I did that. But you have to sign in again. Well, first you have to sign in to get to support. And then you have to sign in again to get to your, it says which device was this key for now keep in mind it's not asking for the key it's very weird so she said just go sign in and then pick a device that of the the system you're trying to reactivate now this particular computer i've never signed into microsoft account in it originally came with windows 7 I did not sign into it. I just erased it and put Windows 10, but there is a valid Windows 7 key on the tower, which belonged to that computer. And I don't think that you should have to pay for another key when that key is physically there. Like it's not even a digital key, it's a, an actual key. So she said, uh, just pick the device that you want to activate from. And I said, well, the device is not on the list because I've never signed into Microsoft on this device. She said, that's okay. Just pick anyone. <laughs> I was like, wait, just pick anyone. What does that mean? I have, I looked at the list. There was literally like more than 20 different computers on that list because I was selling laptops over and over and I was signing into them. And, it, and so each time it was pulling, I, I guess, the key connection to my Microsoft account because I would use it for about a month or so and then sell it again. So that's weird. She said, just pick one and try it. So I picked one that said Lenovo. And I know I haven't used a Lenovo computer for at least a year. Who knows? That could have been my old laptop from years ago. I just picked one. I clicked on it. It said, use this device. And then it says, congratulations, your 
Windows is activated with the digital license. So that's kind of weird to me. So now the Windows is activated, which is great, but we don't know what the key is. The key that is in the computer now, I don't know if it's the one that it, it thinks it is or the one that's from the Lenovo. Kind of strange, so I wouldn't really suggest doing this for selling the computer. If you do have your old computer and it died, then this would work perfectly. I didn't know it was so simple. That's all, all you have to do is just basically log in, pick your device. It's hard to remember which one's which because the, the names are very weird. It says desktop and then there's all these letters here. So you kind of would have to like keep a note of what computer belonged to which person because if it's a computer that you sold to somebody else that you signed into and then you use that key from that computer that could mess things up for that person so make sure you're doing it for the right reasons i just picked one you know just to see if it worked but um yeah now the windows is activated who knows what the key is i don't know she doesn't know <laughs> anyway that's just a way if you reconstruct your computer so technically i guess you could take like an old dell computer sign into it throw it in the trash or whatever then use that key on your new gaming pc because you signed into it before and then you pull it from that computer to the new computer and then that computer just can't use it anymore i guess until you pull it again from i'm not really sure what happens if both are online at the same time i, I think it probably still works but yeah there's really no reason to pay for a windows 10 key Unless you build an entirely brand new computer from scratch, new hard drive, new motherboard, new case, new everything, then sure, you should buy a license for it, and that's $20 or whatever. But in my opinion, if the computer had a key at one point, it should still be valid, and there's nothing wrong with doing it this way, so you don't have to spend the extra money. Let me know what you think, and if you've ever had problems activating Windows like this, this is uh, really my only second time dealing with this. I think I did it a year ago, but I didn't really pay attention. Um, also, see my other video where I actually used a Windows 7 computer, upgraded it to 8, 10, and then 11. Or no, was it 8, 10, 11? And the key transferred. So she says you can't do that anymore, but it did work, although it took me like two hours and that was kind of a lot of time. It would have been better just to buy the key in the first place. But anyway, that worked. So let me know what you think and uh, we'll see you next time.